And your podcast is so stupid. I hate it. At night. I hate it. Sunil Patel. I hate you. Huge Davies. And I hate you. You are now entering Slam Thundry. Alright, now we're recording. Headphones on, boys. How we doing? How we feeling? How we how we living? Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, we're good. You know? Good. Are Sun's good? out. Sun's out. Got some new sun. We got a bit glasses. more sun. But also at the same time, it's a time of um, sadness and parting. Why? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell them? It's the end of um, the studio. It's the end of the studio. We've got to move yeah. out. We've been kicked out, finally. We've been finally kicked out. By the rats. The rats have kicked us out. The 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 rats that are in this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the landlord, isn't it? He's kicked everyone yeah. out. Everyone in the whole building is... It getting kicked out so it can yeah get redeveloped into I think it's a terrible time to invest in property redevelopment. Actually. I think it considering that this place this address doesn't show up on Google Maps. <laughs> I think it's an insane property yeah. to try and redevelop. Do you think they don't they know as little they know that's what they think will put it on Google Maps. Yeah yeah yeah. They're going to install like the Google Maps thing on there. We're like, we're in a cultural and Wi-Fi 4G and phone signal dead zone. Yeah. <laughs> if they turn this into a flat I'll buy it. If, if they turn this into this a flat, room. I'm going to bomb it. <laughs> if I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. got a feeling this is the place where they, they're going to turn it into a place where they put Hollywood stars before big films, like Jared Leto before the Joker film. Do what you know what I mean? In this, just, yeah, just you send them, you can do nothing with the building. Yeah. Send in Jared Leto for a few months, see what, see what happens. We should have seen it coming when they cleared all the greenery outside. Yeah. We should have gone, oh, ah, yeah, ah. what's the, what's By the, the greenery, story? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the, what, the three... Ne- nestle bushes yeah, 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 yeah. Would, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would it is we'd have to smoke around yeah. none of yeah, god's creations are imperfect <laughs> they? no um yeah it's uh it's a miracle we didn't set all that stuff on fire the amount of lit cigarettes we threw in there i thought it was the landlord doing something nice you know, really? just clearing it up Do you think us, so? just so we could see, yeah, another, yeah, see sort of another wall see the wall of the police station <laughs> doesn't matter if we dox ourselves now we'll be out of here by the time this episode comes out yeah. i feel i feel <laughs> can you imagine if you were passionate about finding us and you haven't worked it out by now we're you need between, the address we're in between the crown court and we've, the we've said yeah. so many times we're next to a police station yeah, 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 and yeah, opposite yeah. the band me shop <laughs> opposite the band me shop the band me shop the crown court and the police station the the triumvirate of evil. <laughs> yeah. um, We've had people emailing us saying, like, stop doxing yourself. It's so easy to find you. Yeah, you thought we were doxing ourselves before. We've, but that, no, that, that's a full For there now. That's there's a full people, dox. We've, well, there's been Slimers outside. We saw, I think we I did saw some Slimers oh, outside. Yeah. Was yeah. I here then? Uh, no, you weren't here. Away, you weren't here. What were they doing? <laughs> they were just what they were jacking just off, looking at the jacking looking, off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what was they the, were like slugs on the floor. <laughs> they were sliming. What was the. Uh, guys, I hate to tell you this. Yeah, you do. You're I, smiling, though. I went to another band, a different band mate's shop the other day. No. And it just wasn't as good. Yeah. I was like, this yeah. is going to be the real test. Because if this one is like, I had another one in Denmark that wasn't as good. And I was like, it, let's just, I'll, I'll try another one. They're probably It probably is not that special, our one. And it but, is just that special. The, they're the best ones I've ever had in my life. By not good, do you mean... The sandwich wasn't good, or you they weren't as rude to you as you would like them to be. It was good, the sandwich was good, yeah. and they were rude to me, mm. but yeah. not as rude and not as good of a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't rude to me, they were very nice, but the sandwich just was, was lacking. It was, it was still really yummy, but it just was that well, thing. As did they sort of request for did, did they fulfill your one. request for no mayonnaise? Yeah, yeah it that's... came without mayonnaise. Yeah, wow. Well, we don't go there anymore, we haven't been. We should go today. I don't. I'm going to inhale it on the way to my meeting. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, uh, good news about that prawn last episode. Oh, yeah. Went right through me, no problems. Did you, like, what, you had diarrhea? No. Oh. It just went out normally. Like, f- complete, like, whole. I saw the full prawn. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, but Swimming. it didn't. <laughs> it swam so, out. So I don't think raw prawns are that bad. No, you can have raw or anything. Yours was mostly really? cooked. Okay. It was mostly cooked. Really? You really can have raw or anything. No, you can't. You can't. Don't listen to him. What? No, you can, honestly. I've, I, like no, you don't listen to well, him. Can't name something and I'll, I'll say you can have it raw. Dog chicken. shit. Chicken. No, you, raw. Chicken. Dog yeah. shit. Raw dog shit. If the, if the chicken's healthy, you can have that raw. No, you can't. Come on, man. It's true. If, you if, you put if it, you're if a you... fox, you can. Yeah. If you rinse it under a tap, is it all right? No, that's you're not supposed to. Don't wash it. If Why you, not? Because that sprays salmonella all over your There's kitchen. There's salmonella in our water. If you oh, very no. quickly yeah, rinse if you, it, it sprays it around. Yeah, if you're like splashing water on a on a on something that's like unhealthy, it's smashing it everywhere. The heat will kill the germs. All right, what about raw MMR vaccine? What's that to you? I think if you catch a chicken, it gives you amazing five G. 
if you if you if you real life caught a chicken and and, yeah. and ate it raw, that'd be fine. So I think. Oh yeah, okay. you know I, I don't mean? think so. <clears throat> But I that's, think it makes sense though if you were to catch a chicken and the then you put it, you know, you just have a bite into it. So yeah. are we talking about eating it raw or eating it live? Because that's different. Well, if it's just, let's say it's just dead, you've killed it. Yeah, that makes you can sense. Have, you can have a bite out of it. Well, just that's just, that's just the way yeah, that fine. the animal kingdom works. Yeah, yeah, we crack its neck and then eat it raw. <laughs> circle of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a circle of life. My friend once, um, we were walking back from from sports, mm. and there was what? Like a, we walked back from sports. Which sports? It's football at school. Playing football, playing football right. at school, and there was like a pigeon. Was, you know, it sort of it was on the floor, and it was uh-huh. definitely being hit by something or something like that. It was poorly, it was kind of yeah, it was poorly. And he, um, and he thought, I'll I'll put this pigeon out of its misery. And I think he he saw some some girls who were quite upset by it, uh-huh. and he thought it would be cool for him to step in. Um, uh-huh. But he only said it to me. He didn't say it loud enough, and he went up to the pigeon. And put it out of his misery. He literally just ripped its head off with his hands. Oh, I thought he was going to stamp on it. He just, actually <laughs> he tried to break its neck, yeah. and then he just tore the head of the pigeon off. Don't worry. That's that's such that's that's awesome. Like <laughs> l- <laughs> like school loser behavior. Yeah. Don't worry, girls. I'll save you. Yeah. Ripping a, pi- a live yeah. pigeon's head off in front of all the popular oh, girls. It just it's from their perspective, yeah. they yeah. were crying over an animal that was injured, and yeah. then he came over. And just pulled its head off. <laughs> and just and was too too anxious to, w- to address it really to and be like, yeah. and then just sort of walked off. Well, he's in the history books for years after that. He's that guy. That's he's written his personality. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah, he's fucked himself for the whole of school. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> There's no coming back. You can't al- do a charity. And also, it's yeah. not just you have pulled. You know, you've embarrassed yourself in front of this guy. More importantly, you've pulled off the head of an animal, which oh, I don't yeah. think anyone should really be doing. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Yeah. A live animal, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Here, you're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I smashed that. <laughs> best, my best Haven't day. I? My, yeah, you are. Yeah. My best day in secondary school was um, <clears throat> me and this guy Daniel. Um, I think it was yeah, it was, I think it was uh, this guy Daniel in my class. We were walking between lessons, and we saw a baby bird on the f- sitting on the floor, like it couldn't fly. Like really, it looked so tiny, like it had fallen out of the nest. Really, baby bird, and um, we stopped and picked it up. Mm. Um, and uh, da- like Daniel picked it up in his hands, and we walked to the next lesson with this baby bird, and we just said to the we were old enough that we said to the teacher, Miss, we've got this baby bird, we got to sort it out. She was just like, Yeah, fuck off! Like I know you're not gonna, you don't want to do the lesson kind of thing, you yeah. know. She was just like, Don't don't even try and don't don't make excuses to me that you have just just don't come back. And I was like, Brilliant! So we just walked around school with this baby bird for like an hour, trying to find out how to like help it, and uh, eventually we found like a janitor. We passed on to like a janitor, and he was like, "Oh, I'll take it and I'll look after it." And so we gave it to him, and it showered over his hands and flew away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> Didn't need saving at all. It was just chilling. <laughs> it was just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah, man. it was brilliant. Nice. That's a green flag from you, I think. If a bird is willing to sit in your hands, and and needs a poo and doesn't do one. I think it's a green flag. I think it didn't really sit in my hands that much, if at all, because I was worried about the germ. Yeah. But it did sit in Daniel's hands. I was, like, supervising. Because okay, I was the one that spotted the bird, and I was like, we got to well, do something about it. Was it not bird. just really scared and playing dead? No, no, it was, like, looking around and oh, was it? chirping and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know how I f- feel sorry for with this kick out? Yeah. The, the, um, the people who've got, like industrial pottery kilns that they'll have to transport <laughs> somehow. people with jobs. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. Do, you know I think be, do you know what I think we should do, right? We yeah. should find out whatever um, whatever building this guy moves to and <laughs> deliberately get the office next day. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're talking yeah. about next door yeah, patron and neighbour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's into it, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know his name. I've forgotten it. I've asked it about 15 times. He could, yeah. I think he's. he couldn't wait for this building to be... Condemned. Yeah. I think he's the landlord. I think he's bought it. <laughs> so that he can kick us out. What are you I looking d- at? I'm just, I just saw someone walk by and they were just chatting, but I've never seen. There's like more people in that room now than there have ever been before. It but used to be just him. They're in that room? Yeah, I thought there's like a few people chatting in there. He's actually got Henry Cavill talking to him in there. Is that what it is? Yeah. He's got Superman. He's got Superman. Superman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got The Witcher in there talking to him, yeah. saying the dialogue out loud. I imagine Henry Cavill's a monstrous person in real life. I was going to say he's lovely. What do you mean he's lovely? He plays like Games Workshop stuff. <laughs> that's that's, that's not. That's not but no, but yeah. that's not. That, that, you usually don't get bad people playing Games Workshop. Huh? 
you yeah. don't get bad. Like, are, you, bit, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. You just That's, get doors. The games what, what, wait, sorry. The people that want the cosplayers. Yeah, they're cosplay. They're letting it out like, in a healthy way. What? Like their their love for the space marines and their they're like killing genocides and stuff. They'll do that on the tabletop. Right. Them yeah. Yeah, but I think it's because those those sort of people are quite um, underpaid and powerful. And, and I think if you no, got they're a, overpaid because they think that hobby's so expensive. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, a really well, expensive they, well, they, hobby. Well, yeah. but they don't go on. A, they, you know, that's what they'll put their money into. Yeah, they're, it's not going on, they're not going on sure. holiday. Yeah, yeah. They're not buying you know, a coffee every morning. You and know, stuff. You know, not yeah. buying coffee for wife. Yeah. You know, no way. No I think if you give yeah. if you give that person, yeah. And they drink I don't know what I imagine, you know, coffee. several million dollars for yeah. playing Superman. That that person will become violent. Why Henry Cavill? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that he's just like a just, a, just like a normal guy. No. You just said he was evil. Who said he was evil? He's, I, he's, I, I, think, I, I, I think suspect he might be evil. I think he's the best of us. Were you guys ever into games workshop and stuff when you were kids? I try, but it's so fucking expensive. Yeah. I used to I used to paint them. Yeah. I used yeah. to I used to save I got two pounds pocket money. A week, and I would save up. Some of the kids, yeah. they're like twenty-five quid, and you get maybe like six figurines for them. So I would buy yeah. one set, probably every big present, half year or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, big present would be like yeah. a little set of. I remember getting the. Um, there was like a little plastic like Lord of the Rings set where you. I had the Lord of the Rings ones. I was Lord of the Rings. I didn't mm. care about the. Oh yeah, Hammer, me too. Lord I of the Rings. Lord of the Rings ones. There was like a little plastic set which was um, from the first film, which is like all the. Some of the fellowship, and then like the Urukai, a couple like a half a dozen Urukai or something. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But you had to paint them after. Yeah, yeah. but they yeah. came with like three or four little tubs of paint. Or you got mix up and like yeah, yeah like yeah. little plastic tubs. And so I think I think I might be wrong, but the paint was what kills you. That's what they, the markup is. Well, I remember in um, <sighs> about ten years ago, everyone was buying. Not everyone, but Games Workshop was like one of the most profitable companies in the yeah. country. They were making so much money. Hugely profitable. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was in the, and then the share price shot up. Because, yeah. um, it's like Lego for adults, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but now that's a thing. Yeah, yeah Lego for adults is a thing. Yeah, but you, then, don't have a, you don't have a Warhammer store in Leicester Square. Yeah, they should. Well, they should be. Yeah, Where, where's so. our nearest one? Uh, well, actually, around the corner from here, there's a board game cafe that sells all that stuff. Oh right, okay, but yeah. a proper games workshop shop. So has they, all the games. They've in all there. sort of changed. They've got different names now. There's one in Central. So I had a really weird situation when I was a kid. It was th- my local games workshop was in Croydon, in a back. It's like in a back street, in the basement of a shopping centre. Games Workshop Croydon was like a crazy liminal place. I've it, been there before. It's a I've game been to that one. That's the they, one I used to go. They to. They don't need to be in great locations because people will make their way. There. The pilgrimage, yeah. 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 It, it, but it's a games workshop, but it's also in Croydon in the mid 2000s. So my granddad would take me there on the weekends to look around, and then maybe, like you say, if I had enough pocket money, I'd like buy one of the little metal individual guys. But even they were too like super expensive. Yeah. If he was on a horse, forget about it. Yeah. I have to remortgage my house yeah. to buy yeah, Theoden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need a better um, gateway drug for young kids but, to like spend a lot of money on. So what happened was I got. Um, so first of all, the whole shop was a shit show. The two guys that run it were like the the most sort of like central casting dorks you could possibly imagine. Yeah. And um, like I would just go there and watch the older kids and the grown ups paint and fight because I couldn't I didn't have an army or anything. I think one <coughs> I did one actual tabletop game there when I was like thirteen, fourteen. So after six years of yeah. gathering enough Urukai to have one army, and I got decimated by a forty year old man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like I, I once saw a kid, um, a kid like some kid who's like had, pro- you know, he was a like a troubled kid, but clearly from money, because right. he bought a Balrog, yeah, and he and he lost still to a kid who was just better at him, mm. and he not who's like my only pal there that I like got on with and was my age, yeah, and he knocked him out in the shop, <laughs> he knocked him out in the shop because he beat him, and then he got banned for one week, yeah, and he, do you know what he said when he got banned, he said I. Shouldn't even be here. I've got a maths essay to do. <laughs> a maths essay. <laughs> this kid was like 15. Knocked somebody out over a Balrog because he thought he could buy his way yeah. into a victory. And then I, yeah. I eventually got kicked out of the store and never. Because my, my only friend never came back because he got yeah. knocked out in the shop. And then I never came back because there was a hobby craft in the shop he sent around the corner mm. where the models were mu- and the paints were much cheaper. What models were they? They weren't games workshop. No, no, they were like. Don't, don't know, like, Napoleonic soldiers oh, right. or something, right? Uh, yeah. So it was way, way cheaper. I bought some models from there and went to Games Workshop to paint them, and they kicked me out. And they said you're not allowed to paint non 
Games Workshop stuff in here, and right. I was like, "Sorry, I, th- I thought this was a community space for like for for people like it's- me with no friends and, and niche <laughs> hobbies." And they were like, "No, we hate you. <laughs> Fuck off. It's crazy. Hate- You're 13. We hate you because you don't have a, like a 500 grand job. Yeah. I will kill you." It's crazy that the two people we've heard being hit out of Games Workshop was that guy sparking someone out, and you bringing in <laughs> the poly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I would say that that sparking someone out in Games Workshop after you've lost yeah. is very it's quite Balrog like behaviour yeah, be it's very you know evil I mean? army behaviour yeah like yeah. if he was like you know they weren't even bothering him in the minds of Moria yeah do you know what I mean they were just having a look about yeah they were just trying to get through you've not seen well, no, you, you what have, is that you've seen Lord of the Rings haven't you you know what, well, you know what the Balrog they were, is they were bothering no, him that's the point isn't it the, dwar- the dwarves went too deep they dug down too deep oh, they, they did bother him yeah there. Well, yeah. So I mean, but just to share this, you know, share the space. Yeah, you know, but a, that's um, not how life works. Do you know what no one ever talks about? It's how extremely racist Lord of the Rings is. Oh, they he, they talk oh, about yeah. the orcs and the. He, he yeah. gets a f- completely free pass, Tolkien. Yeah, it's a different yeah, time. Yeah, what the the invasion <laughs> of, of the east? Of the, yeah, yeah, exactly. All the yeah. men in the west who speak Westron yeah. and are all white have to stop the hordes, the dark skinned hordes from the east who are. Who are who are born evil? Mm. I think the elves should be Asians. Also, I found out it's recently. Very, don't you think they should in the tr- in the trees? They sort of that is feels Asian. Well, they're quite tall though. Yeah, we'll make them short then. Oh right, they're all they're all <laughs> <laughs> they're make all... them short then. What do you? Why would they be Asian though? <coughs> I don't know. They're sort like, of, that's what my them. life was like when I was a kid. You grew, grew up right. in the trees. Yeah, I'd sort of stare, stare, at, stare out at the sky. I was yeah, desperate yeah. to I'd be an elf. fall asleep in an hammock. I was so desperate to be an elf. No, that's, that's hobbits, man. No, that's they, hobbits. I thought it was a class thing. Elves I thought it hammocks. wasn't a race thing, it was a class thing. No, I'd look into a mirror, you know, I'd see the future. <laughs> Long golden like, hair. Glad to yes. yes. I'd live for 5,000 years. The, well, they have indefinite lives, obviously. Yeah. What's, well, what, what's the class thing? I thought it was um, Tolkien. I thought it wasn't a race thing. People were um, criticizing it for being class based, like the hobbits of Middle England, like the ba- the bars, English, I think. English men. Yeah, yeah like, like Mordor is based on like the Black Country because of yeah, all the industrialization. Yeah, yeah, and, and the elves like are like the educated elite in London or whatever. Which what I found out recently, like, yeah, but also like but you should see the Asians all over that now. Yeah, uh, I see everywhere now. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> check it out. If anything, universities are Asian safe spaces. <laughs> He's, he's not check wrong. Out, check out, wrong. LAC. Um, you've got to check it out. They, check uh, out any uni. I've, been, no, I've, done a, I've done a student gig there. You've, admit, got, you've got to check that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we used to work Might there. Might be UCL, actually. No, um, the, it's also the descriptions of the orcs in the books are like, you actually read them and you're like, oh. Yeah, I'm not reading it. They look, they look there's like... There, it's just, like he uses like slurs, racial, like real life racial slurs to describe. That's the that's the craziest thing. It's because he's clearly had such a boundless imagination. He made his own creation myth, and then he was like, "Yeah, the orcs are fucking black." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. right. Also, the dwarves. No one ever co- says anything about the dwarves. Yeah, what are they? What are they supposed to be? Uh, so. <laughs> I think I know what they're supposed so, to be. Yeah. So they so oh, sorry. Get it. Sorry, they're on, described as uh, they're described first of all when he just, when he first of all oh, yeah. first of all yeah. he he like uh when he first invents them they're all evil as well okay. and they're all sort of short and ugly and they live in the ground oh. and they hoard gold. Oh. And they're uh they're the you know he invented all the languages. Right. This is the only one based on a Semitic language. Oh, yeah, dear. interestingly dear, enough it's the dear. only one that, based on a Semitic language <laughs> and they all love gold and live in the ground. Who are the So it's like I read that I was like, uh, right. What are you trying yeah. to say here? Because that sounds pretty. That pr- sounds pretty insane. You just would have been like, I'm copying that off J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucking sent a book out of nowhere. I don't know who sent it to me. What? It arrived. Like, it's O.J. Simpson. No, it's it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> a 38 it. page self published biography of Salman Rushdie. Uh, have the slammers managed to get your <laughs> address the, as well? It, was, yeah. I, it wasn't. It was like kind of scary because I was talking about it. Maybe not on the podcast. But Salman Rushdie to a few people, and no one sent it to me. But it's 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 like I looked it up online. It's got no reviews, uh-huh. and it's like ten pound fifty and published on demand. Brilliant. So someone's but, ordered it and sent it to me. But maybe that's, uh, maybe you know that person is. <laughs> that's the only way to get the book out there. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes maybe. maybe it's kind of Listening just like to me in the public. If no one was buying my book, yeah, maybe I'd just send it off to a few random addresses. 
Well, it got go, published. Go talk, like, but you're talking. You're also talking about it now on the podcast. Yeah, I know. You never know what could happen. Yeah. So you've actually done what they want you to do. You're publicising. Publicising it. it. It is dog shit. I and I can't, <laughs> when I was when I was like just before the pandemic, my agent at the time was like, um, "Oh, we got a parcel for you," you know, and they represented like a few like. Um, like famous clients who yeah, would get yeah. things sent to them to yeah. like to talk about them, mm. and um, he was like, "It's pretty cool, you know. The first time this happened, someone wants you to like look at their thing and and um, and you, like you know and, and review it and say and like talk about it and stuff." I was like, "Oh, that's cool. What is it?" It's like I don't know, but it's from Penguin Publishers, mm. and it was a book by a Hungarian fascist. <laughs> so I, and I didn't know what it sent it to yeah. me, so I just chucked it straight in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> and I why, said, "Oh, no thanks." Why are Penguin publishing books by Hungarian fascists? Uh, he's he's like a quite a, I might cut all this out. He's quite like a well-renowned author, but he's like a huge like Orban supporter. Mm. Oh right. So as all I know about him is that he's a Hungarian fascist. What are you allowed to do to books? You're allowed to throw the books in the bin. You can do anything you want. Yeah. Mm, you don't publicly to... burn it. Publicly, but you say you, I can privately burn it. You can privately burn it in a bin. Yeah, as yeah. an act of protest to yourself. Are you allowed to? Um, I so I. I used to smoke the Bible. So like, use the pages as skins. Yeah, yeah, go but on. only right. the boring ones. Right. So you know. So so possibly the reason that you can't sleep and that <laughs> that you are self-identified as thick is because Inhaling. you used to smoke. Uh, like printer's ink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you used to smoke newsprint, right. It was also that period of time I was living like in a room. breathing in lead petrol. Yeah. That was, I was also used to roll it in the room with no windows that I used to live in as well. So yeah. I think that could have, right. it's like a double whammy. Do it might have toughened you, know I mean? like, you I heard about, It's a combo breaker. I heard about a trick. I'm sorry for calling you sick again. I'm not. Oh, no, it's mean, okay. It's fine. I was only it's not joking. Fine. I, think it, I think it is quite you. stupid to, um, <laughs> to do that. To smoke the Bible. And also, I think it's also. It's devilry, it's heathenness. Yeah, it feels Blasphemous. bad. I don't feel great doing it, but then, then I would, I would be high. Wait, which Bible, King James? Um, I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. He doesn't mind if you smoke the King James. It says <laughs> the Holy <laughs> Bible on the front, right? And then I just it would be the King. I'm not. Yeah. That's the book I probably read least out of my collection <laughs> of that, and I imagine several, several comic books. I had, um, I had, I heard a tip when I was a teenager. A tip. Yeah. Basically, if you, a nice little trick that. You, you can do is you can um, colour a Rizzler in with Sharpie and then smoke that. Why? What, what? And then <laughs> it would just get you off. off. Oh my God. We should try that. Yeah, we should, we should try, yeah. Should we try that together? Still on our last should day of the studio. Last, last day of the studio, shall we all smoke one and we'll colour in Rizzler with. I'm, it's <laughs> almost like a suicide pact. Yeah. Flash forward to about two weeks later when they're uh, smashing this place open a big <laughs> wrecking ball. Three corpses inside. Three laughs. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> no one's looked for us. No one's looked for us. Yeah. <laughs> like an old person that dies in <laughs> and no one no finds them for a year. Headphones still on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cigarettes oh, in mouths. Oh, Fan fiction open in front yeah, of us. Yeah. Looks like, like a devil, devil yeah. like, a, like a Satan worshipping. <laughs> Ritual. <laughs> um, I, I got sent a uh, TikTok video of yeah. um, a lads podcast. It's like six lads in their twenties talking about whether to go to Zanti or I've Ibiza. Seen that. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> the comments under it, though, everyone is saying men should not be allowed podcasting gear. Yeah, and it did. It, it felt like an attack on us. Right. But these because we were all decided ag- very quickly, it's definitely Albiza. <laughs> we would never argue about it. Yeah. Not Dubai. No, I want to go to Ludd's Church in Staffordshire. <laughs> <laughs> Do some brass rubbing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Ludd's Church. I want to actually shout out to the Slimer who commented on our YouTube video uh, episode of this, saying that Ludd's Church in Staffordshire is uh, thought to be the inspiration for the Green Chapel in uh, Garwin and the Green Knight. That's very interesting. I didn't know yeah. that, and I'm going to add it as a stop. Okay, yeah. I'd also shout out to the Slimer who messaged me and said, it's not Sark where the Barclay brothers live. It's somewhere called uh, Bre- Breckhock or something. But thank you for picking me up on that. Uh, no Slimer's messaged me this week, but, you know. Have you looked <sighs> in your request folder? Um, no, I've never looked never in look there. there. Never look in there. Mm, never look in there. Really, I get sent... Um, someone does a lot of dot-to-dot pictures of me. <laughs> so, oh, and, I know. Really? Yeah, yeah you've seen, have you yeah, seen yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like... Um, She's a graphic designer, I think. Would right. it... What it looks like is whenever I go on a TV show, it looks like someone what they've done. They put tracing paper on the on the screen. They'll sort of dot the outline of me and my features, and then just send me that. Brilliant. Um, is it from your appearance? Very or scary. Have they ever done any Ross Battle ones? Um, no, actually not. Okay. not sorry. Is, is it you as a doctor? I messaged Joel. Do- I messaged Joel Domit because we were on hypothetical together, and yeah. I showed him the picture, and he didn't message back. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just too scared. 
I've got a new routine about Joel yeah. Dommett. Yeah. <laughs> I'd save it for the stage, I think. No. <laughs> it's about how I want to die on The Masked Singer. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, uh, As the singer? Yeah. All right. I want to, I want to, like, everyone's having a fun time until the, the, everyone notices, like, a little bit too late that the costume is completely still. Joel has to, like, wrench the head off, and I'm <laughs> completely dead under it. There's, like, scratch marks on the inside of the head where I've tried to get out. And then Ken Jeong has to pretend he knows who you are. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, my God. He's it's, dead. It's, the, it's Oliver <laughs> Joel from the musical Oliver. Joel Domit's like, who is this guy again? Um, I, um, I was going to say, I, I was answer my question. Is yeah. it oh, yeah. avoidance? Is it that tracing they took of you as a doctor? Um, no, no. They, they. What do you mean? You know your appearance as a doctor on avoidance. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. was assuming it was that. No, no. I, I watched that. Yeah. And I also went out for that part. Yeah. And Hugh did it a lot better than I could have. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really funny. You think so? Right. Yeah, it was way funnier okay. than what I did. Thanks for saying that. I know it's not. Yeah. What? <laughs> It is, it is, it is uh, sincere. Okay. Well, yeah. you two went up for the part of the, the, the same doctor. Of like basically a uh, deadpan doctor. So they needed an right. like, Asian doctor because there's... There's a new guy <laughs> in my casting bracket and I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> or giving absolutely nothing. Yeah, deadpan yeah. idiot. What show, what show is this? Uh, uh, Romesh's show. Romesh's show, Romesh. 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 right. Yeah. You should check it out. It's on BBC, BBC nah. One on that play. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. Yeah. What? Why were you watching? <laughs> What's, is, who's, who, is it like him and his mum play like... His mum's not in it, though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. He, um, <laughs> Jessica Nappett plays his... His mum. <laughs> his mum. <laughs> Lisa McGrillis. It's pretty strange. Yeah. yeah. Whose baby are you looking at? Uh, Lisa's. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. You had to look at her baby? Uh, yeah, well, I, she had a fake belly on, like, I was allowed to touch it. I was allowed to wow. poke it. Yeah, you know You're allowed I mean? to touch fake stuff, not real women. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. allowed me. You are? On she set. allowed me. I had the gel, I had to, um, yeah. spread it on her... Fake on tummy. a fake belly. Yeah, it was great. How, what was the gel like? Gel didn't taste great. I'll say that. Much. <laughs> kind of stinging. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was um, yeah. Today's featured actor is actually eating all the gel. Can we get a runner to go to the hospital and get some more gel? Is that okay? I get, can I get some gel in my trailer, please? <laughs> can I get some gel? Can I get um? You taking up like, in the hospital set, just like getting an IV drip with some gel. Yeah, drinking blood. Yeah, just like what's the symptoms? Is like I think he's addicted to deep heat. <laughs> Well, I the love my mouth actor going is, completely. The feature actor has died from a brain hemorrhage because he's drank all the deep heat on set. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's found his way into the medical officer's bag and he's had 48 packets of paracetamol. <laughs> 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 his kidneys exploded like a chest burst or an alien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, his kidneys exploded so hard it severed his torso from his legs. <laughs> like Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. So you still wouldn't get sacked from the production. No, you wouldn't. What if I? It's too late to. Power of the unions, am I right? <laughs> I'd quite like to, to maybe empty a bottle of deep heat, yeah, and then fill that with something else, and then all, and then every now and then pull that out, you know, like a flask, yeah, and then you have a little sip. You cut the deep heat out, and you just have squeeze a little, it, a little yeah. squeeze of that, put that straight back in. That'd be really funny. Really jarring. That'd be really funny. Yeah, <laughs> if it was like <laughs> you were just in quite a professional meeting, <laughs> and then you were like <laughs> smashing it too. You were like, oh, you know. You, you replace, just pull out, pull out. You replace like a tiger balm with marmalade, and then just every so often you open the tiger balm, just scoop it into your mouth, <laughs> and then yeah, just put yeah. it just away. Use your tongue. Yeah, and then you just constantly surprise her, like, sorry, does someone have a napkin? You seem to have got it's very messy. <laughs> Hands dripping full of marmalade. I think that the only way to that only thing that's left for me in stand up comedy mm -hmm. is to one day throw up on myself, not acknowledge it, blame the crowd. And yeah. then die on stage. Like Cause literally you, die. Because you have pissed and shat yourself on stage, haven't you? Yeah, I've done those things, yeah. Right. So you've oh. got um you've got the one left to complete the perfect hat trick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can exactly. understand shit, but why piss? You would have gone for you, piss sorry, beforehand. You can understand shit, but I can understand shit because you can't control it. You can't like suddenly if you've got diarrhea. Well, but the, piss right. doesn't come out as diarrhea. So I was doing a gig. It was quite early on. Yeah. I was doing a gig and there was a toilet. Insights from the Slam Country podcast. Yeah. <laughs> piss doesn't come out as diarrhea. <laughs> piss comes from the balls. Piss, Sorry for piss interrupting comes from the balls. you. Piss, piss comes from, from the, balls, the balls, so you can keep it in. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It comes from your internal humours. Oh, I okay. see. <laughs> you can rub it out. Yeah. You can sort of like squeeze it. <laughs> so I was doing this gig. The yeah. toilet was near... It was like, you know, like two, no, like two North Downers in which the toilet is near the front. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was impolite to go to the toilet whilst an app was on stage. Uh, so I was waiting to go on. I asked the MC. No, it was a different place, but oh. it was similar. <coughs> similar. Up, yeah. yeah. Toilet next to a stage gig. Yeah. I hate that. And then I, I asked the MC when I was on. Mm. They said I was on third. 
So the first act goes on. They leave. As I go, I go into the toilet. As I'm having a pee, I can hear my name announced on stage. Brilliant. And the clapping is going. I've st- I've, I'm have i like mid-wee. Mm. Keyboard think, on. Keyboard on, mid-wee. <laughs> You're pissing with a keyboard? No. <laughs> Can't get out of the door like a dog with a stick in his yeah, mouth. Yeah. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason That's I shit out of the on the keyboard, yeah. <laughs> I have to go in sideways into a cubicle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I shit on the toilet paper, wrap it up. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I was, I, I hear I, I'm halfway through the piss. I go out on stage. I think I finished. You know when you you sort of convinced you're finished, and you're like, yeah. well, the stage will take over. Mm. The stage will take over. I got, you know, if you ever get have hiccups or anything like that, as soon as you go on, it mm. kind of just stops because yeah, your body yeah. just forces you to. Yeah, I went on, sat, and at this point in my life, I was st- the keyboard was on a, I was sitting down, uh-huh. and it was on like a the stand so I came out I sat down as the uh, and I immediately started pissing myself <laughs> and it was like all this it was I was wearing light blue jeans so the audience could see so I could look down briefly I saw that it was and then I was like well I can't do my set now because I'm gonna have to get up at the end and yeah. then everyone will see that I've pissed myself the only way to move forward with this is to address it immediately so I cut off the clapping and I said no I'm 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 currently pissing myself Fuck's stood up and okay. then we just watched <laughs> We watched all the piss just slowly <laughs> like take over pretty that's much brilliant. to my knees. Hugh, that's fucking insane. That's brilliant. That's that's really funny, man. That's the so, sort of shit that the crazy alternative comedians would have yeah. done. Like, yeah, <laughs> well, that's how I felt. And, yeah. then I, and I didn't, I only had about five minutes. And at that point, it was so funny. Everyone really liked it. Yeah. That I just sort of was riffing on stage. Everyone liked it. What's it was funny. That? It was funny in the moment. That's right. a once in a lifetime gig thing to see. Yeah. Yeah. And but then I didn't play a single song, and people were congratulating me at the end, saying you've done really well. But then Did I they think it was real bits. They knew it was real bits. They, it wasn't like I can't remember. This was like very early on. I don't think anyone on that gig sure. is currently doing stand up yeah. anymore. Well, I don't even remember. Them up like that. It was some girl called Kirsty who I met on my first comedy course, and she was she'd actually just, just like we were all very bad. But afterwards, people were saying how well I'd done. Yeah. But then it, I think some people thought that my act. Was that yeah. is to set up quite a large keyboard, come out, piss myself, <laughs> not play a song, then pack it up quite sadly in the interval. That's brilliant, and I think that that's the best comedy ever got for me. <laughs> but the, you that's can't a, replicate something yeah, like that. That's no, genius. Could, no. you, could you act it? You could act like you pissed yourself. Um, I think for for my personality, it might come across as a bit sad. Yeah, you know, I think okay, it'd be. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I was, to, you need you need yeah. something to sort of. To go, at, you know, if I'm pissing myself and then I'm coming out and you know, yeah. with my face, yeah, so, you know, okay. people I, would feel sad. Have I told you the story about the on the podcast about the vape in my pocket of the monkey barrel? Oh, I broke in your pocket. Yeah, vape, vape. Uh, one of the chunky vapes that you refill. Mm. Yeah. Right before I went on stage at the monkey barrel, it like cracked or broke or popped or something. Yeah. All the juice leaked out. Um, in because where it was in my pocket, it basically just a massive puddle spread across my crotch and legs area. Mm. Um, li- this is literally seconds before the MC introduced me on. Yeah, it looks basically like I've pissed my pants. Yeah, um, just went, just chucked the vape in the bin, walked on stage, look, didn't mention it, yeah. and absolutely stormed it. The yeah. audience clearly looked at me and went. This and saw my set and was like, "This is the kind of guy who's just pissed his pants." And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's congruent. Yeah. Isn't That's it? what it takes sometimes. Yeah. yeah, to you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I, I, I yeah. I mean, I have very strong control of my um, um, ass and balls. Because you live with Helen. I live with Helen. Yeah. You're like, so a, you're like a Bene Gesserit. You can control them at like my, an individual my, muscle level. My shitting plans are measured in days like i know when i'm gonna be home that's not true because i've we've both been there when you've been caught short yeah but i've gone home for it L- no but we've come to your house and you've gone ah oh, and you've gone to the toilet and had to do a big home, shit yeah, yeah because you never leave your house it's called mind control no, you're like a lizard that lives under a rock you come out like once a day to do this podcast and then you go straight home <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you spend all of your time under the rock yeah. no, I'm, I'm very controlled i i don't i'll go in hotels or home, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, but the, yeah, it doesn't count as like you're not like strategically being at home when you're at home all the time anyway. How I'm mu- not at home all the time. How much? <laughs> I've been at home one hour this week. Really? Yeah. One hour this whole week. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, loads. How much mess are you allowed to make in a hotel room? What's allowed? Not much. Can you 
can you ba- can you have can you bang on the sofa? Yeah. Most mess you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's me. Um... I got to make some calls. That's that's, that's Rob. When you say sofa, shout you, out mean, Rob Orton. you mean shout Rob Orton. Shout Rob Orton. You mean little Rob armchair. Yeah, little armchair. Can you you're not in the, the corridor? Hotel, there. Can you bang on the, like so you can you can so let's 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 go basics. You can jizz in the bed. No, not in the what bed. You, you can. You what can do you jizz. mean into the bed? You can just jizz on the bed. I think. No, I don't think you can. Oh, you mean you can? Yeah, but you can't do jizz that. on the bed. <laughs> people, people what have do you mean you can't jizz on the bed? Hotels. Yeah, but they don't jizz. They don't just That's fucking what... crack one out and leak it onto the bed. Oh, not cracking one out, leaking. No, it's, it's, not, it's not. No. It's more of a leakage. It, I think it's you about can... intent. It's about intent. If you're not trying to get it on the bed, then. But how, but how is but, the cleaner going to know your intent? Your intent. They'll just be like. So what's allowed? What before they they call and say, "Can you like you need to pay for this?" If it's the difference between you know you're painting a wall in your room or whatever you're painting a wall and a drip gets onto the floor versus you've painted a stripe onto the floor it's quite obvious it's about intent you yeah what's the most mess you ever made in a hotel room well so i got, i was so i was painting come onto the floor <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i was um, i was having me and my um my ex were playing noughts and crosses with cum, yeah. with cum on the yeah floor. i think the rule is can they clean <laughs> it up longest ever game <laughs> yeah you gotta do it twice for one cross i'd be out i'd, yeah. be, I'd do one cross and pass yeah. out <laughs> It was very much like a harvesting. Well, the rule is, is if um, they can clean it up in there a lot of time, it's fine. Yeah. But if it's more clean up than that, you're in trouble. Yeah. But you, people shit in beds. They're like they're disgusting. Well, that's what I mean. I'm not fucking <laughs> looking forward to taking this studio apart. Me neither. What do we do with it? It's going to be hard to divvy up the mugs. Yeah. Because I um I bought those mugs. How are we going to get this all onto a line bike? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think we should throw the mugs at the police station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bottle of juice has been there for about six months. Yeah, that bottle of whiskey, I'll take that. Yeah. Because Paddy gave that to me. Kettle, yeah. you can have. Don't want that. It's full of mold in it. Is it, is it coffee? Kettle? I might take the coffee, but that's probably, for probably gone off now. Yeah. yeah. Kettle ours. Yeah, I'll kettles, everything in his ours. I'll take the um, kitchen roll. Sweet, you can have the kitchen roll. Um, who takes the soundproofing? Maybe we could just give that to the people in the new studio. Maybe it could be helpful for them. Maybe we it should, as be. a. Yeah, we keep that. Maybe as a sort of passive aggressive thing, we should give it to the guy next door. <laughs> <laughs> what about that massive rug we pinned up to the wall? Uh, we've actually got two rugs underneath us as well. Sorry. Where are they from? Um, uh, are they your lock up? Me, yeah. This feels very scrappy challenge. Can we make a it buggy out of it? What I'm thinking is this room is actually extremely flammable. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if we could do something. It with would that. be helping to burn it down because they're gonna just do something with it. Anyway. Yeah. Do you know I'll do. It? I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up into one of those roof tiles like the Harkin oh, and yeah, Agent in Dude One. There. Yeah. They'll find me like this, and the walls <laughs> curled up. Mm. Hunt a seeker so going for the land. I think when we was I I saw Civil War. I think last time after we were here. Yeah. No, we talked about that on Did the last we? episode. Fuck yeah. Fuck me. Sorry, man. Is that your topic for today? That was, I wrote it down last week, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll look up what else I've been talking about. <laughs> You'll look up what else you've been talking about. Like what other stuff have I talked to people about? Like, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Have you got any powerful topics for us to talk about here? Powerful topics for us to talk about. Um, yeah. Right. We need to. We're cutting up until. I next speak. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give you something really good. Um, I'm actually going to leave this in. Yeah, I know that. Leave all this in. I know that. Yeah. I know that from the start. Yeah. I just, on my memory card. Yeah. Um, Do you mean your brain? Yeah. <laughs> my external hard drive. Yeah. yeah. I, I found my first ever memory card that I got, because I was going to bring it today. Right. And then I looked at it as the first videos I'd ever made. Um, when's, when's this? When I was just trying out the camera oh, in yeah. about 2017. Yeah. And it's just me um, filming. Walking backwards. <laughs> I've seen those. <laughs> you know, it's the first of, It's like the train. It's the first of it. Brilliant. But I was. <laughs> it was. I was um, just. I saw the video, videos today and it's just me and my mum and dad's house after I've come back from like, uni and that. And um, I just remember how full of ambition I was. Back yeah, then. it's hard. And I was like, me trying out camera specs. Yeah. And seeing what the best thing for the camera is. Mm. And you fast forward to today. Yeah. And it's basically, I'm just like, are we in frame? Press the red button. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fine if it's not. What were your ambitions when you moved back? Um, it's become a stand up comedian. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. How that, would you say you've done? I'd say I fulfilled that 100%. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some. And some as well. You're not only a stand-up comedian, you're very well-respected and doing well stand-up comedian. Yeah, that, yeah. It's sort of... I sort of do miss not being respected. 
yeah, it's nicer to be the underdog. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely for sure. Yeah, yeah. because then because the then you've got to keep the you've got to keep the respect up. Yeah, yeah. And that's not something that I'm, I don't think you could lose that respect now. Yeah, you could. I bet you are good. Everyone's out to get you. Yeah, are they? You're once clips, the once clippies go yeah. up, see, well, see how the respect goes down. Is it? Tell you this much. I I did the same thing. I was because I've got my photo shoot today. I was looking through my first ever photo shoot. Yeah. and thinking, where did that little boy go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. What, that yeah, that's what yeah. I thought about mine. Went to I'm house party too much. Thirty-four. Too much cat. Yeah, too much cat. <laughs> too much cat in Lincoln. That's what happened to him. That's the day everything yeah. changed for that yeah. little boy. Yeah. I saw a photo of myself at eighteen the other day. I I. I out of anyone, I'd like to see. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I do want yeah, to see, I want a to see that big time. I love the picture of you in your house when you're like 16 with your pals. Do you know what I mean? Which one's that? Yeah. Oh, that yeah, in yeah, Florence. Yeah. That was in Florence. In Florence, wow. On a little lad's trip to Florence. You went on a lad's trip to Florence. Oh my Is god. Is that you at the bottom there? <laughs> That's my friend who died the other week. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm, sorry mate. Him, uh, I'm sorry, mate. That's all right. That's Sid saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's let me see. Let me see. That's crazy, Pecky. Wow. Yeah, that's our sixth form centre. Zoom it in. Wow, <laughs> fucking hell, man. Yeah. How when you shave, you look you look you like shave, an anime villain because your the, the the your glasses, the glasses are all like are glazed over white. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. When you shave, how close is that to? Because I just I can't imagine you without it. You well, know. my face shape has changed since then. Yeah. It's more I, it's more egg shaped now. Yeah. That's more egg shaped. You've got yeah. a different head. Well, yeah, you, you're sort of, you you know, that was what, fucking 20 years ago. Yeah. Your head does change shape. Yeah. Like your nose gets bigger, your teeth make your it, mouth move about a bit. Your ears, your ears, ears get, get bigger. bigger. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that's the that's the danger of shaving off, shaving off the beard. Is like it, it, it's not good. You can't get it back either. What the, beard? the first time I met you, you, you were clean shaven. That's what I've heard. You if I shave my beard off, it's not coming back. No, nah, man. Not. It, when you shave, when you're trying to get clean shaven, how often do you have to shave for it to stay? Like, do you get like strong five o'clock shadow and stuff? Because I don't. No, every two days. I basically look. Yeah, I look clean shaven for like three days, and then it's like a little bit. Of when was the last time you shaved? Yesterday. You can see. You can see hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That moustache and chin. Should have shaved. Uh, Should have shaved yeah. this morning. Because I've got my photo shoot. Yeah, but in the photos, it's fine. yeah. Well, watch. Did you just kick me. No, I was playing. I was trying to play yeah. footsie, footsie with you. Yeah, footsie, yeah. right. <laughs> Rejected immediately. Trying to, trying to give him a foot wank on the You showed me a picture of you when you were younger. You felt vulnerable. I wanted, <laughs> to, I wanted to meet that vulnerability <laughs> with the foot chop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's brilliant. I used to shave my head off when I was a... You used to shave your head off? <laughs> I used to shave my head off. You used to shave your head off? I used to shave my used head off. used to Sweeney Todd yourself every day. Yeah, I used to put myself into a big pie. Have a chat with Helen O'Bam Carter. More hot, more pies, more, I, more I, I, pod, more slime, yeah. more pod slime. <laughs> So no, you like musicals, don't you? Fuck you it, you no, like that. Man, here we go. It's a good one, though. Do you know? Like do music. you know about Sweeney Todd? Yeah, it's about the barber who killed people. Yeah, yeah, but you don't. What happens? Do you know what happens to people? Yeah, they get killed. They no, turn into meat. Yeah, for, yeah. They by, get put by into pies. Imelda Staunton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's really I'd good. Like that, it's I? really good stuff. It's a yeah, great I, musical. I think all musicals are good yeah. to some people. Wait, what's you your rush? What's your hurry? <laughs> Why have you? You haven't got a background in musicals, have you? No, I'm just sort of um, I oh, play fine. piano a lot. Are you looking right. for a you pie, know? sir? Yeah. No. No. Oh. No. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, just say it. Don't sing it. Yeah. Say it. After that vape. Last time I went to a hairdresser, I was I went there because I was filming something in Australia, and then there was like um, I went there because I didn't have a shaver because I just got there, so I was like, I'll go for a shave. Uh-huh. I was like, I want a little bit of. Uh, just I just want you to get some stubble and then I told them he was like what you know what you're up to and I was like I'm filming this thing tonight it's gonna be on TV and yeah he said, oh I'm cutting it for the TV and I said yeah. yeah you are kind of and he went oh I'll definitely check it out then when he finished I hated what he'd done yeah so I shaved the whole thing off yeah it's brilliant I feel yeah. devastated <laughs> but he was like tuning know. in to be like see his work and then I just the gala? got rid of it yeah it was the gala yeah the first yeah. day of a fresh haircut is the worst though is it really yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely but, but isn't it they, then they do it the best for you in the in the. So it's you're, too clean. So you're, it's too. You're not used to looking at it either. Yeah. Give it a couple of days. Even. Yeah, I think d- d- what day like, two, day three is great because it looks like f- like shape shapely and like sculpted and nice, but it's kind of got like it's not uncanny. No. When did you know? get that cut? Yesterday. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking about going back to my 
I'm into a hairdress. Well, I haven't been to get my hair cut in a hairdresser's since I was about Come to 17 mind. years happened? old. Who did, who did that? I do this myself. Oh, it looks know. really it good, man. Good, oh, thank yeah. you, mate. But you should come, come with me to my barber. He's good. I kind of want to go. Is that the one that sells Chinese as Empic to women in the neighborhood? No, that's his mate. All right. The other barber. <laughs> do you want me to keep that in? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want to go if back any, to. If any slimers, and I'm sure you probably do, want some 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 trafficked Chinese as Empic. Hit me yeah. up. Hit up. Going to your hairdresser trying to. Yeah. Get the shavings off the floor, put into a Tesco's plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like buckle fat on the floor, getting swept up into a dustpan yeah. and brush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good though since he's been on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, come down. Projectile vomiting onto your head. <laughs> <laughs> you should come down. It'd be, it's a good barber. He's a good barber. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Quite scared though. Why? I'm scared of the chat mostly. I'd say the chat is great. Is it? It's properly like chat that you couldn't even do on a podcast. Yeah, what you do you mean? Want, it's what, chat you it's wouldn't racist. Want, you wouldn't want that chat out there. <laughs> is it? What do you mean? Barber chat is like very private chat. What do you mean? What, what do you As mean? In, like, it's private. It's, it's like is it of, racist? It's what people would call toxic. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. you pussies would call <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the work. You're not allowed to get your hair cut yeah, anymore because yeah. of work. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's cut that. <laughs> 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 this right, is going to be a four minutes. minute episode <laughs> <laughs> the problem is we've done like back to back episodes with nothing to li- we haven't, I haven't lived I've just been filming haven't I yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so Neil how about you take us through a day on set with you I want to know what, this, what you're doing what you're up to I think people um, would like to know what it's like to be a proper Hollywood actor yesterday I uh, get picked up at half five in the morning fuck off I've yeah. got I've got two of those next week. I'm not looking happy. Are you filming mm. something? Yeah, I'm filming. No, I just has to go to the woods and scream. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm stalking some elders, <laughs> but it's not. Um, I'm not getting a car. I have to get like public transport to Essex like oh. six o'clock. What is it? A short or something? Stand up sketch show. Oh, mm. you've got to get your own way there. Yeah, they made. Oh, yeah, yeah, last time I did stand up sketch show, I had to. Yeah. Yeah, I, had to, I, I got the train to Finchley. Yeah, I got a cab. I got a cab uh, the, when it was my sketch, but. Mm. Yeah, sorry, go on. Um, I'm not really allowed to talk about much of what happens on set. Sure. But, That's okay. Um, Just take us through your yeah, day, please, because I think people uh, would like to know about... Pick, picked up quite early, yeah. about an hour and a half drive. What are you doing in the car? You talk to the driver? Um, no, the company that they use, they're very good. They don't talk to you. Perfect. What company is it? It's perfect. Excel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Addison Lee, obviously the worst. And then what's the other one, the posh one with the Mercedes? That's Excel. Addison no, Lee. there's another one. Oh, is there? With, like, black something. Oh right! Yeah, um, I can't remember. Yeah. Addison think. Lee have a death wish. I Addison swear to God, what the? F- it's like Matt, a bit Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, what, one of them had fucking to land playing... jumping on my car, spraying oh. paint on my face. But they've all been they've, all been, they've been completely cunted because of Uber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's well, anger in the way they drive now. Mm. The the you one know. I had for Addison Lee once, first of all, tried to get me to give him fifteen grand. Excuse me. Oh yeah, that was yeah, he told us about that. Yeah. Did I do that on the podcast? Uh, well, you know, yeah. you said that he told us that he picked you up in Canary Wharf and assumed you were rich assumed and said he it. needed fifteen grand. When you told him you were a comedian, he was like, "Fuck's sake!" He was like, "For fuck's sake!" Yeah. <laughs> and then he told me how much his cousins earned doing delivery. Brilliant. Fifteen hundred a week. Anyway, and then um, <laughs> the other Addison Lee one I had was um, he had to keep putting his glasses on and off to read the sat nav while he was driving. Brilliant. And then just like reading glasses, and he was just like driving, like facing down. <laughs> Anyway, the, yeah, you get picked up in at like, I don't know, like seven, and then like you have some breakfast if you want it, and then they say, can you put your costume on now? You put that on, then they go, all right, into makeup, someone cuts your little beard for you, then you get driven yeah. to set. Are you talking, are you talk? are you, what you like in the trailer, Sunil? Are you very chatty in the trailer? Well, I'm on my own in the trailer. Well, no, you're when you're getting you're in, you get your little beard trimmed and your costume I d- done. I, well, the good thing about having beard trim is you can't really talk while you're getting your beard trimmed. Yeah. So you have yeah. a chat. Everyone's very nice. But you say a lot with your eyes, don't you? I say, well, I can't see anything. Yeah, yeah. You mean you he, he says, "I wish I was at home playing Zoo Tycoon." <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Shitting in a familiar yeah. toilet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you sometimes um, have a chat with the other actors as they're getting their makeup? Yeah, done? sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. normally, like a lot of the jobs I have, are like I'm only in for a few days. So yeah, really, you don't really make. That. Yeah. The last time I had the makeup for something a couple of weeks ago, um, I was talking to the makeup artist and they were like, oh, you're an actor? I was like, no, 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 no I'm a comedian. And they were like, oh, you know, I love comedy. Oh, dear. Oh, I yeah, hate that, that start this, of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. This really is the fills me with anxiety. Yeah. yeah, I've learned my lesson. Because the the, this is the worst one I've ever had. So have you seen that Saddam, Saddam Hussein hanging? <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, yeah. Finally, Big something we can talk fan. about. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Now they go, um, oh, you know, do you know comedian's name who, who, and who is someone I know very well and I was like yeah I do yeah and they were like oh I used to love them but I won't see them they were fucking dog shit 
<laughs> worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Just not good. Just not yeah, good. Yeah, I yeah. ever got him on a bad day, but it just was really bad. And I'm like, you have to go. Well, you, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you, it, it's just like let's just listen to him slag off someone enough. I have a friend like that. He's always just saying how much he hate. I work with a particular person in comedy. He's quite a big. I work with him every now and then. Yeah, and he's always telling me how much he hates him, <laughs> and I just don't understand. I'm just like, but you. I work with them, and you n- know that I like them. And yeah. Thus, therefore, I, what what do you want from me? Yeah. People outside comedy love telling you yeah. how some people are sh- how they hate them. Yeah. It's like what? But that, again, I think that happens the more famous you get. When 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 nobody knows who you are, yeah. everyone's desperate to be like, my favorite comedian is this person that nobody's heard of, um, or they're really surprised. They're the more they're more surprised that you're good because you're not famous. I I, I think. Yeah. I haven't really given it much thought. This is just coming to me now. But everyone goes like, "Wow, I wasn't expecting you to be good because I don't know who you are and I took a punt on you." Oh, when yeah, you yeah. get more well known, everyone's like, "I don't see it." Especially yeah, because yeah. comedy does not translate to TV very well. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I avoid comedy chat on set, and then a lot of the chat is like, "Where do you live? How did you get in?" That's it. What's your address? Yeah. yeah. What hours <laughs> yeah, are you out yeah, of the yeah, house? Yeah, yeah. Do you get? Do you go get your breakfast, or do you, your breakfast get, getting to you? I prefer going to get it myself. Yeah, yeah so you can still be with the people. Yeah. I hate the the on set. The lunch options are always fucking. Me- they come in. They go. Here's the menu. You can either have, um, you know, you can either have a raw sea bass yeah. and um, <laughs> like a like a fried lentil. Like individually fried lentil um, pancake, yeah. or um, r- like you know, uh, yeah. one piece of raw broccoli yeah. with uh, chipotle mayo on it for the <laughs> vegans. I'm like, what fucking cafe are you get? I've never <laughs> heard of these food options in my life. Yeah. Quinoa salad with um, with with uh, you know some dog shit stuff. Yeah. yeah Just give me a fucking ham sandwich. We used to be a country. There's no sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, they don't do sandwiches. It's St. George's Day. Yeah. Give me a ham <laughs> sandwich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no mayo from yeah. Sainsbury's. <laughs> Salted crisps and a Lucas aid. <laughs> I want just dip for lunch. Just yeah. dip. So I want you to go to Mama's Pizza and get me five garlic and herb dips. I'll slurp them like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I got told this yesterday, apparently. On Doctors, mm. on BBC, they have to buy their own lunch. Really? Which is not very abnormal for... Um, when you're acting you so you don't, although doctors would have to p- buy their own lunch actual too doctors have to buy their own lunch as so well. it's more of a method kind yeah, of a thing you know but the, uh, the patients don't know yeah maybe, you, maybe so maybe it's like you're on doctors you pay for your own lunch you actually imagine if you found out you were on doctors and then you found out you were actually just were a doctor <laughs> you become imagine a doctor you yeah you're like yeah. I'm seem to be paid for my lunch and doing doctor. surgery <laughs> imagine yeah you're, you're like the NHS is so stretched that they're sending people to the set of casualty to get yeah. their operations done <laughs> yeah I think I would do that if yeah. someone was like you've got the spot on doctors I'll do it but yeah. then it's like you just only if I can perform a real operation <laughs> yeah like you get there and someone's like I need the bullet taken out of my leg I'd be like oh I guess I'm just Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd do it and I probably would do a good job too I could do that I think so I, I could take a bullet I could take a bullet, bullet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. if I was able to sort of hack and slash my way at it, yeah. you know. I wouldn't be able to stop the blood from flowing out the most important part that's the tough bit I'm quite good at like you know cut, dicing an onion quite finely without any wastage oh, nice one. so I think I'd be good at removing a bullet <laughs> from someone's started, leg isn't it? it is yeah the yes. most important part of any surgery is asking the patient to bite down on a bit of wood yeah as long as you, as long as you nail that. Oh, don't forget, you've got to give them a big swig of rum. Yeah, yeah. big swig First. of rum. Yeah. And then yes, pour it on the wound as well. Pour it on the wound. Pour it on the wound. Pour it on the wound. Big swig of rum. Make them bite down on the wood and, yeah. and like wrap your belt around their leg I, before you I cut it them, off with a saw. I let them choose the leech like lobster in restaurant. <laughs> I go, you, you can pick your le- le- leech pick out. Pick your leech out. Yeah. Yeah. There's. A, have you seen Speed Two? Speed two wouldn't <laughs> in 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 speed two. It's a fucking mental. Yeah, the, the villain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Willem Dafoe, who's the he's the bad guy in it. Yeah, yeah. His I think they were filming and they were like, we haven't got enough character dimension for this. Much. He's not defined enough. He's just sort of a bit evil. Yeah, we need to give him something else. He has a box of pet leeches. Yeah. That he attaches to himself just it, when he's just in his cabin. So, yeah, he comes in and then he just puts leeches on himself. 
he talks to them. They call him his children, and then he goes out, Genius. and and he, he and then he just takes the ship over. Yeah, it's never yeah, yeah, really yeah. incorporated um, into anything. <laughs> I think it's just very funny he, watching one of the foe just kind of watch leeches just thrash about on his chest, and we, then he goes out, and then just for no, no nothing, never referenced evil, evil ever again. Just, themselves, I guess. Yeah, have we? Um, he, yeah, he's like he's bad because he's anemic. He's not in his right mind. You know, yeah. he's poorly. Have we talked about his knob before? It's, it's, it's what? William Defoe's knob. knob. Have we no. talked about this? No. I think yeah, I've seen know? his knob before in... Oh, is it a big one? Antichrist. No, so here's the... You haven't. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I think I'm pretty sure it's Antichrist. They... There's obviously a scene where he gets his his chap out, right? Yeah. He gets his his fella out, but um, apparently when they, were fil- they filmed it... Yeah. And they showed it to test audiences. And his, his lad, Willem Dafoe's cock was so big, mm-hmm. it took people out of the scene because they thought it was a gag oh, yeah. when he's in the naked scene. Because yeah. he's got such a massive cock, it took people out of it. Yeah. It removed the suspension of this belief. Well, it's also like Chekhov's gun, isn't it? So, so they had, you, you expect that to come So they had to, fil- yeah, so they had to film, yes, they had to reshoot yeah. with a cock double with a smaller cock to, yeah. to, so they didn't take people out of it because Would William you, Defoe's cock is so massive. I can imagine William Defoe would be furious at that. Would you take Can that you job d- as the double with a smaller dick? Absolutely. Yeah. I couldn't. Um, <laughs> what? Because people wouldn't believe... Different skin colour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people, people go, that's definitely yeah. P- Patel cock. <laughs> it's definitely small enough, but we're just not looking for... Uh, it's, have, you, have you seen all this stuff on Twitter about the Garth Master? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. It's too, too late in is the day that, to start talking is about the algorithms. Algorithms or is that Master 2? Algorithms are algorithms. Uh, there, there, there's a street... There's a street no, there's a, <laughs> it went viral. There was a street interview with an Australian guy and they're like, what do you do for a job? And how, much do you make every, <laughs> <laughs> how much do you make every... How much do you make every... Yeah, it did. It got five, it. five likes. It found you. <laughs> <laughs> it got, it, they go, like, how much do you earn every year? And these, and what do you do for a living? He goes, I'm an OnlyFans model. And people found his account and he's called Garth Master. Mm. And it's unnatural. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's horrible. It's just so like it's crazy. Well, good, well I, guess I mean, it's the only it's, option though, isn't it? When it's that big. When you hear Girthmaster, yeah. you're assuming a lot. But mm. you know, I'm going in. If you tell me to go look up Girthmaster, I'm assuming a healthy girth, a but good it, girth. But what you're saying is when you when you see it, it's almost like your jaws on the floor. What is it like? Thirteen inches round, one inch long. <laughs> no, it's like a, like a tuna, <laughs> like a tuna can, yeah, <laughs> like a dinner plate. <laughs> it's like a rough. You can yeah, stick around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. What? I've got to go to my <laughs> meeting. So, <boy. laughs> so much. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. Don't forget to go Absolutely. to patreon.com forward slash slam country to unlock uh, like eighty episodes of different stuff, and it's nice four pounds a month, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, folks. So um, it's been a lot of fun. Anyone got anything to plug? Oh, I do actually. Um, when this comes out, this Sunday, four days from now, oh, yes, Huge course. and me will be doing the same gig at the Bill Murray in London. So yeah, we'll check nice, our Instagram yeah, for my tickets for that. Enjoy my application. It's the night I run with Olga Koch, Sam Lake, and Chloe, Chloe Betts. Betts. And we'll be doing some comedy in the Bill Murray. We've sold out all the shows before. The good fun. Also, Mickey Overman is also on. I and I'm hosting, yeah. and I uh, do you know I still have I did I think one of the very first joy multiplications you did, and I still have the poster. It's very nice. I've, never, it's, I've never done one. Right, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for listening. Check out Patreon. Bye. 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 B